I recently installed the second EG4 12000XP. Now both of them are sharing the load to power the house. I have this DIY battery that do not have a physical way to shut it down. I will be installing a DC circuit breaker to have a way to shut it down just in case I need to do maintenance. This is the breaker that I will be installing. The rest of the battery have a physical way of shutting them down. Those two white battery at the bottom as well as the two on top just have a physical button to shut them down and those three AG4 battery have a physical button as well as circuit breaker to shut them down. I already prepared the battery wire ahead of time to install this breaker. Here is the spec of the breaker also the manufacturer on the top. It's a 60 volt and 200 amp breaker. It also have a trip button to test and make sure it is working properly. Now let's start putting everything together. That's how everything look at the end. Let's flip the switch on. This DC breaker feels really sturdy. Here's the measurement for it. It's roughly six and a half inches by three inches by three and a half inches. I think I might get a couple more of this DC breaker to add to the server rack battery that does not have any DC breaker like this GoAd battery at the bottom right here and those two battery on top of it. The other three battery and the battery enclosure came with DC breaker built in. If I was starting from scratch I think the battery with the DC breaker are superior to the one that does not have it going forward that's what I will be purchasing. Besides that it's really easy to add a DC breaker but it is an extra cost. If you like this video you might also enjoy the recommended videos. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy.
See you in the next video.